First in the spotlight tonight is Howell Morgan, a trainee solicitor from Leeds. He's answering questions on the League of Gentlemen. Next, Paula Keaveney, a university lecturer from Liverpool on Martin Edwards' Harry Devlin novels. John Bainan is a gardener from Northwich on the Romanoff dynasty. Tom Partners, an e-commerce specialist from Farnham, his subject, Alex Ferguson's reign at Manchester United. And Ian Clark, a solicitor from London, his subject, Ernest Hemingway. And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Our five semi-finalists are under pressure on several fronts. The glare of the spotlight, of course, the ticking of the clock, and the notorious black chair. And on top of all that, the pressure of knowing that if they get through tonight, they're in the grand final. The usual rules, 90 seconds on their specialist subject and two minutes on their general knowledge. So let's have our first contender, please. And your name is? Howell Morgan. Your occupation? Trainee solicitor. And your chosen subject? The League of Gentlemen. The League of Gentlemen. In 90 seconds. What ominous message appears on the road sign underneath Welcome to Royston Vasey at the beginning of the television episodes of The League of Gentlemen? You'll never leave. Yes. What is the name of Edward's wife who runs that local shop for local people with him on the outskirts of Royston Vasey? Tubbs. Yep. Who was the director of both the television series and the feature film The League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse? Pass. Which sinister circus ringmaster, played by Rhys Shearsmith, abducts other people's wives, often taking their wedding rings and hissing, you're my wife now? Papa Lazaro. Yes. What are the names of Harvey Benton's favourite toads that are accidentally killed when Benjamin is playing Piggy in the middle while he's babysitting the Benton's daughters, Chloe and Radcliffe? Sonny and Cher. Yep. At the start of the second series, who's taken over from Pauline Campbell-Jones as the restart officer at the Royston Vasey Job Centre? Cathy Carter-Smith. Yes. In the film The League of Gentlemen's Apocalypse, Steve Pemberton, as himself, meets one of his own characters face to face in an office scene and they swap lives for a while. Which character? Hellet. Yep. With what device does the vet, Mr. Chinnery, manage to electrocute Mr. Hart's coy carp collection while attending to the iguana curly who has been off his locusts? Tooth drill. An uh, electric toothbrush. In the episode Turn Again, Jeff Tips, Jeff goes down to London to try his hand at stand up comedy. At which club is his act a complete failure? Comedy store. The salmon of knowledge. What ailment often resulting in their death affects everyone who's eaten Butcher Hillary Briss's special stuff no. in the second series? Nosebleeds. Yes. Which comedian plays the part of Larry Vaughan, the foul-mouthed mayor in the second series? Uh, Roy Chubby Brown. Yep. What is the name of the world's smallest escapologist who cries, Will someone let me out? As the camera pans past his closed box in the first episode of series two. Ingleby. Ingleby is correct. You had... One past, the director of both the television series and the feature film, was Steve Bendelak. You have scored nine points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Paula Keaveney. Your occupation? University lecturer. And your specialist subject? The Harry Devlin novels of Martin Edwards. The Harry Devlin novels, here we go. Harry Devlin is a Liverpool solicitor and amateur detective who likes to solve murder cases. What is the full name of his dependable long-term business partner? Jim Crusoe. Yep. In yesterday's papers, Harry investigates the 30-year-old murder of Carol Jeffries after he's told her real killer is still free. In which Liverpool park was Carol found strangled? Sefton Park. Yes. In Suspicious Minds, Valerie Kaiwa tells Harry that someone is poisoning products in her father's supermarkets to extort money from him. What substance, does she say, has been put into the strawberry yogurt? pots. Glass. Yes. What type of business on Williams and Lane is owned by Finbar Rogan and deliberately set on fire in I Remember You? It's a tattooist's. Yeah, tattoo studio or parlour. At the beginning of All the Lonely People, Harry returns to his flat to find his estranged wife Liz watching a Woody Allen film. Which film? Manhattan. Not Love and Death. In Eve of Destruction, Harry becomes suspicious that Becky Wyatt is trying to kill her husband Stephen when he has severe food poisoning after she serves him what meal? 
prawns. Yes, a seafood cocktail. What is the name of the ruthless gym owner that Liz left Harry for? Nick Coughlin. Yes, in The Devil in Disguise, what is the name of the charitable trust that asks Harry to contest the will of a former benefactor who's left everything to his housekeeper? Kavanaugh Trust. Yes, in I Remember You, at which dock is Penny Newland's body found after she drowns in the Mersey? Brunswick Dock. The Botanic Dock. In Waterloo Sunset, Harry receives an obituary notice announcing that his own death will take place when? Midsummer's Eve. Yes. In Eve of Destruction, whom does Harry identify as Becky Wyatt's lover after listening to recordings of their phone conversations? Dominic Revel. Dominic Revel is correct. Paula, no passes. You've scored nine points. And our next contender, please. And your name is... John Bainan. Your occupation? Gardener. And your specialist subject? The Romanov dynasty. The Romanov dynasty, in 90 seconds. The Romanov dynasty ruled Russia from the early 17th century till the revolutions of 1917. Who was the first member of the dynasty to use the title emperor? Peter the Great. Yes. To which office was Filaret Romanov appointed in 1619? He was the father of the first Tsar, Michael. Pa patriarch. Yes. Who became patriarch in 1652? His reforms and disputes with Tsar Alexis helped to precipitate the schism in the church. Nikon. Yep. Who was the mother of Tsar Fedor, the successor of Alexis, and of his brother Ivan V, who was joint Tsar with Peter the Great? Martha. No, Maria. Which favourite did the Regent Sophia appoint to a military command in Crimea? His failures helped to cause her overthrow by Peter the Great. Galitsyn. Yes. What is generally believed to be the birth name of Peter the Great's second wife who succeeded him as Catherine I? Martha Skowronska. Yes. Who was the chief minister of Nicholas II until 1911? He tried to persuade Nicholas to banish the Romanov's trusted adviser Rasputin. Stalipin. Yes. Who was the author of a book that described a fictional journey from St. Petersburg to Moscow and contained a scathing condemnation of serfdom? He was exiled to Siberia by Catherine the Great in 1790. Radishev. Yes. Which of Catherine the Great's lovers was thought by many to have fathered Emperor Paul? Saltikov. Yes. After peaceful demonstrators were shot in St. Petersburg in 1905, Nicholas II was eventually forced to introduce an elected legislature that met in May of the following year. What was it called? Duma. Yep. In October 1917, the Bolsheviks overthrew the provisional government and the following year, civil war broke out. In which house in Ekaterinburg were Nicholas and his family executed? Ipatiev. Ipatiev House is correct. No passes, John. Ten points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Tom Parker. Your occupation? E-content specialist. And your chosen subject? Manchester United under Alex Ferguson. Manchester United under Alex Ferguson. Here we go. How many Premier League titles did Manchester United win during Ferguson's tenure as manager? 13. Yes. Which team did United beat 1-0 in a third-round FA Cup match in January 1990 thanks to a goal from Mark Robbins? Nottingham Forest. Yes. Who scored his first goal for United in a one-all draw against Chelsea in December 92? Eric Hansen are. Yep. Which United defender scored a remarkable total of 19 goals in all competitions in the 1990-91 season? Steve Bruce. Yep. In 2008, United won the final of the FIFA Club World Cup against a team from which city? Quito. Yep. After a Champions League game in November 2000, Roy Keane famously referred to some of the club's fans having a few drinks and probably prawn sandwiches and not realising what's going on out on the pitch. Which team had United defeated in that match? Dynamo Kiev. Yeah. Which team did United beat in the FA Cup final of 1990, the first major trophy that United won under Ferguson's leadership? Crystal Palace. Correct. Against which team did David Beckham score from inside United's own half in the first game of the 96-97? season. Wimbledon. Yes. Which player made his debut for United against Coventry City a day after his 37th birthday in April 2001? 
Uh, Henrik Larsson. Andy Gorham, in which city did the 2008 Champions League final take place when Manchester United won on penalties against Chelsea? Moscow. Yep. Who was Ferguson's first assistant manager when he took up his position as Manchester United manager in November 1986? Archie Knox. Correct. Who scored Manchester United's first goal under Ferguson's management in a 1-0 win against QPR in 1986? John back. Is correct. No passes, Tom. You have 11 points. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Ian Clark. Your occupation? Solicitor. And your subject? The life of Ernest Hemingway. The great Hemingway in 90 seconds. Here we go. Ernest Hemingway was an American author who won both the Pulitzer and Nobel Prizes. Which political leader did he initially admire when he interviewed him for a newspaper in 1922? He later described him as the biggest bluff in Europe. Mussolini. Yeah, what spectacle, one of Hemingway's passions, is the subject of his 1932 book, Death in the Afternoon? Bullfighting. Yes, Hemingway met the first of his four wives, Elizabeth Hadley Richardson, while he was living at a friend's apartment in Chicago. Which friend? Bill Smith. Uh, Kenley Smith. What is the title of Hemingway's 1929 novel that was inspired by his experiences in Italy during the First World War and his love for an American nurse, Agnes von Korowski? A farewell to arms. Yes, Hemingway was accused of breaking the Geneva Convention, prohibiting war reporters from bearing arms when he played an active part in the capture of a town on the way to Paris in 1944. Which town? Rambouillet. Yes, what was the name of the American ambassador who accepted Hemingway's Nobel Prize for Literature in Stockholm in December 1954? David Bruce. John Cabot. What was the name of the Hemingway's summer cottage on Lake Walloon, where the young Ernest acquired his love of hunting and fishing. Windermere Cottage. Yep. Hemingway covered the Spanish Civil War for the agency known by the acronym NANA. What do the letters N-A-N-A -A stand for? North American Newspaper Alliance. Yes, at which railway station was Hemingway given a letter that informed his father had committed suicide? Nashville. Trenton. During a visit to Cuba in 1932, Hemingway discovered a passion for marlin fishing, which became the central theme of his Pulitzer-winning novella. What's its title? The Old Man on the Sea. Yes. What is the name of the boulevard in Ketchum, Idaho, where Hemingway bought a house, number 400, in 59? He committed suicide there Ca two years later. Canyon Run Boulevard. Canyon Run Boulevard is exactly right. Uh, Ian, you have no passes. You have scored eight points. A high scoring, a very close round there. Let's have a look at all of the scores. In fifth place with eight points, Ian Clark. Joint third place, nine points apiece, Howard Morgan and Paula Keaveney. Second place, ten points, John Bainan. First place, 11 points, Tom Parker. <laughs> General knowledge round now, of course, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. So let us ask Ian Clark to join us again, please. And you have eight points with your knowledge of Hemingway. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two minutes. Here we go. By what name was the National Socialist German Workers' Party better known? The Nazi Party. Yes, who wrote the classic children's novel Good Wives and the other books in the series that feature the March family? Louisa May Alcott. Yes, in which village on the Wirral is the Lady Lieber Art Gallery, famous for its collection of works by the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood? Pass. What expression for making a supreme effort is a reference to a method of producing maximum volume from a pipe organ? Pass. Catherine Glover is the title character of a Bizet opera that is loosely based on an 1828 novel by Sir Walter Scott. What's the opera called? The Fair Maid of Perth. Yes. What was the name of the sinister storyteller played by Valentine Dial who introduced appointment with fear on the radio? Pass. A pâté and the earthenware dish in which it's cooked can both be known by what name? Terrine. Yeah. Who won the first of her two Best Actress Oscars for a role as an alcoholic former star in the 1935 film Dangerous? Brett Davis. Yeah. What word of old English origin for a tuft of grass is given to the firmly stuffed cushion used to kneel on in church? A hassock. Yeah. An England bowler's first ball in Test cricket was hit for four by Gautam Gambier in 2008 and his last hit for six by Shane Watson in 2013. In between, he took 255 wickets for England. What's his name? James Anderson. Grim Swan. Which sugar is also known as fruit sugar? Fructose. Yeah. The paintings by Francis Bacon, often known as the Screaming Popes, were derived from a portrait of Pope Innocent X by which 17th century Spanish artist? 
Velasquez. Yes, whose memorial service at St John's Cathedral, New York, in May 1990 included one of his creations, Big Bird, singing It's Not Easy Being Green, a tribute to Kermit, another of his characters. Jim Henson. Yeah. Which country has borders with Costa Rica to the northwest and Colombia to the southeast? Panama. Yep. Which London residence, bought by George III as a townhouse for his wife Charlotte, now has 775 rooms? Kensington Palace. Buckingham Palace. Which song from the musical High Society that gave Bing Crosby and Grace Kelly a number four UK hit in the 50s was a number two hit for Elton John and Kiki D in 1993? Mm. Think White, of a song. White Christmas. Well, it might have been, I suppose. It wasn't. It was true love, but it was worth a, worth a guess. Three passes, Ian. The Man in Black. Uh, was the sinister storyteller played by Valentine Dial. Pulling out all the stops is that expression of making a supreme effort and yeah. the pipe organ and all that. And the village where the Lady Lieber Art Gallery has its home is Port Sunlight. You have in a total of 18 points. <laughs> and now Howell again, please. And you start out with nine points. Howell, let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two minutes starting now. Who wrote the poem The Charge of the Light Brigade that was published in 1855 and includes the line Into the Valley of Death? Tennyson. Yes, caisson disease is caused by nitrogen-forming bubbles in the bloodstream. What is its common name? Bends. Yeah. In 2014 film, the X-Men send Wolverine's mind back to his 1973 body to convince their younger selves that history must be changed. What is the film's full title? Revelations. Days of future past. In George Orwell's Animal Farm, what's the name of the noble male cart horse who represents everything good about the common man? Uh, Napoleon. Boxer. Which town in Cheshire is traditionally associated with the production of finished silk? It has a football team nicknamed the Silk Men. Macclesfield. Yes. What did the anti-saloon league campaign to prohibit the manufacture and sale of in the United States? The act of ban it came into effect nationwide in 1920. Alcohol? Yes, alcoholic drinks. What type of cell in the human body is partly protected by a fatty layer known as the myelin sheath? Uh, fat cell. Like uh, the neuron. Which artist's works include Echo Homo, a statue of Christ that stood on the fourth plinth at Trafalgar Square, and State Britain, a reconstruction of the peace campaign of Brian Hawes, 2007 Parliament Square protest? Hurst. No, Wallinger. What surname is shared by the American composers Leonard and Elmer, although they're not related? Bernstein. Yeah. What is the nationality of Manuel Pellegrini, who became the first non-European manager to win the Premier League when he guided Manchester City to the title in 2014? Chilean. Yeah. John Gay's 1732 work New Song Similes features an early use of the name of a salad vegetable in an expression for coolness. Which vegetable? Cucumber. Yeah. The Mugelsee and the Tegelsee are the largest of the many lakes in which capital city? Moscow. Berlin. Which song gave George Harrison a number one hit when it was released in 1971 and when it was reissued posthumously in 2002? Uh, Lucy in the Sky. My Sweet Lord. At which battle was the Japanese Navy decisively defeated in early June 1942? It was a major turning point in the Second World War. Iwo Jima? No, Midway. And we have run out of time. No passes, Howell. You've got a total of 16 points. And now, Paula, again, please. And you also start out with nine points. Let's see where you get with your general knowledge. Two minutes of it coming up now. On a weather map, what name is given to a line joining points of equal atmospheric pressure? The closer they are together, the windier the weather. Arsabar. Yep. Constable country lies on the border of Suffolk and which other county? Essex. Yep. On what date is the Christian Festival of All Saints Day traditionally celebrated in the West? 30th of October. No, the 1st of November. In what post did Manuel Valls succeed Jean-Marc Ayrault in April 2014? Pass. What are systematically burned by the so-called firemen in Ray Bradbury's dystopian novel Fahrenheit 451? Pass. The region of Ifni in northwest Africa and its port serving the Canary Islands was part of a European country until 1969. Which one? Spain. Yep. Yeah. Whose television roles have included Valerie Barlow in Coronation Street, Jean in Dinner Ladies and Celia Dawson in Last Tango in Halifax? Pass. Which English couturier who died in 2003 at the age of 93 was famous for his tailored clothes and became dressmaker to Queen Elizabeth in 1955? Hardy Amos? Yes. Which tube connecting the middle ear with the pharynx is named after an Italian physician who died in 1574? Pass. 
What French expression that translates roughly as deed done is used for an action that's been completed and is considered irreversible? Fait accompli. Yes. Which country won the most medals overall at the first modern Olympics in 1896? It was by far the most it's ever won. Uh, USA. Greece. Which Austrian-born singer and actress is well known as the interpreter of the songs of her first husband, Kurt Weill? Pass. What term for an aristocrat was originally applied to a member of a noble family or privileged class in ancient Rome? Patrician. Yes. What are the names of the two co-founders of a celebrated engineering firm and luxury car manufacturer who first met at the Midland Hotel in Manchester in May 1904? Rolls-Royce. Yes. Who directed and starred in the 1953 French comedy film Monsieur Hulot's Holiday? Pass. The name of which musical instrument comes from the Italian for large trumpet? Pass. By what name is kerosene known in Britain, especially when it's sold as fuel for oil lamps and stoves and for domestic heating? Paraffin. Yeah, paraffin is correct. Uh, you had seven passes. The uh, musical instrument comes from a large trumpet, is the trombone. Jacques Tati directed and starred in Monsieur Rouleau's Holiday. Lottie Lenier was that Australian-born singer and actress. It's the Eustachian tube that connects the middle ear with the pharynx. Anne Reid did all those parts, Valerie Barlow, etc. Uh, in Ray Bradbury's dystopian book, books were burned. And Manuel Valls and Jean-Marc Ayrault were the Prime Ministers of France, but not for very long. You've scored altogether, Paula, 17 points. <laughs> and now, John, again, please. And... Uh, you also start out with 10 points, and uh, the score to beat is still 18. It's uh, holding on there, hasn't been breached yet. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Let's see if you can do it. Here we go. A publishing and newspaper tycoon who fell off his yacht and drowned was lampooned as Captain Bob and the Bouncing Check. What was his name? Maxwell. Yeah. Who won a Best Actor Oscar for his performance in the title role in the 59 film Ben Hur? Charlton Heston. Yes, which book by Isaac Walton, first published in 1653, has the subtitle The Contemplative Man's Recreation? Complete angler. Yes, a species of tree native to the east coast of Australia and named after a Scottish-born chemist is now widely grown for its nuts, which are a rich source of protein and fibre. Which tree? Uh, pecan? No, macadamia. The name of what baggy knee breeches, particularly associated with golfers, comes from the number of extra inches of cloth required to produce the overhang at the knee? Plus four. Yes, which British royal palace, no longer occupied by the reigning sovereign, gives its name to the court to which foreign diplomats are appointed? St James's. Yes, which Asian country is the second highest exporter of coffee following Brazil and leads the way in the export of the robusta bean? Thailand. Vietnam. Who composed the choral work Amina Burana based on medieval Latin poems, which was first performed in Frankfurt in 1937? Oh, Lord. Yes. What's the traditional language of formal prayer in Judaism? Hebrew. Yes. In Chinese cuisine, what name that comes from the Cantonese for lotus is given to the popular dish whose basic ingredient is an omelette? Fu Yung. Yes. Which chemical element is named after the American state in which it was first synthesised in 1950? California. Yes. Kathy Staff played an unlikely object of lust in the television comedy series Last of the Summer Wine. What was her name? Nora Batty. Yep. What name from the Old Norse for secret is given to the alphabet used in the ancient ritual inscriptions carved into rocks in Britain and Scandinavia? Runic. Uh, the runes, yes. The 1989 Bradford and surrounding area edition of a well-known publication had a cover designed and illustrated by David Hockney. What was the publication? Yellow Pages? No, the telephone directory. In 1823, which Irish politician formed the Catholic Association to fight elections against candidates sponsored by large landowners? He became known as the Liberator. Daniel O'Connell. Yes, the novel Mr McGregor, published in 1998, I'll finish the question, is about a presenter hired to revive an ailing television gardening programme who becomes the nation's latest heartthrob. Who wrote it? Hantich Marsh. He did indeed. No passes, John. You've scored a total of 23 points. <laughs> and finally, Tom. And... Uh, the bar has been raised quite a lot now, Tom. It was 18, it's now 23. But you start off with 11 points. So, let's see if you can do it. Here we go. 
The Pharos Lighthouse, one of the seven wonders of the world, stood in the harbour of which city? Alexandria. Yes, which small shrimp-like crustaceans are along with plankton, the principal food source of baleen whales? Krill. Yeah. Which tenor gave up teaching and made his professional operatic debut in 1961 as Rodolfo in La Boheme? Uh, Pavarotti. Yes, what word for delaying an action that should be done immediately comes from the Latin for forward and of tomorrow? Uh, postponement. No, procrastination. Who sings the title song on the soundtrack of the Bond film Golden Eye? It was written by Bono and The Edge of U2. Tina Turner. Yes, a German artist has collaborated with the children's author Julia Donaldson to illustrate many of her books, including the best selling story The Gruffalo. Which artist? Pass. How are the characters Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, and Leonardo, who first appeared in a comic book in the 1980s, collectively known? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. What was the name of the Swedish scientist who devised the centigrade temperature scale in 1742? Celsius. Yep. Which television series set in Calderdale stars Sarah Lancashire as the police sergeant Catherine Kaywood, who finds out that the man who drove her daughter to suicide has just been released from prison? Happy Valley. Yep. The Viking settler Ingolf Arnorsson is traditionally regarded as the founder of which European capital city in 874. Reykjavik. Yep. Whose autobiographical poem in blank verse, the prelude, subtitled The Growth of a Poet's Mind, was begun in 1798 and finally published posthumously in 1850? Keats. Wordsworth. In Hinduism, what name that comes from the Sanskrit for descent is used for the incarnation of a deity in human or animal form to counteract some particular evil? Avatar. Yes, who was captured in May 1430 after unsuccessfully trying to help raise the siege of Compagnie by the Burgundians under John of Luxembourg? Joan of Arc. Yes, which cocktail created at Harry's Bar in Venice sometime in the 1930s or 40s is traditionally made from Prosecco and white peach puro and is named after 15th century Venetian artist? Marco Polo. No, Bellini, the holder of which government post assisted by the Solicitor General is the chief legal advisor to the Crown in England and Wales? Attorney General. Is correct. Uh, one pass, the uh, name of that German artist who collaborated with Julia Donaldson for the Gruffalo was Axel Scheffler. Tom, you have scored 22 points. <laughs> so, so near and yet so far. Let's have a look at the scores. In fifth place, 16 points, Howell Morgan. Fourth place, 17 points, Paula Keaveney. Third place, 18 points, Ian Clark. Second place, 22 points, Tom Parker. First place, 23 points, John Bainan. <laughs> Which means that John is tonight's winner. And he goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind. And you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>